Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. And today we are going to be overclocking this 1070 for Ethereum mining. So let me just put you guys down here. So first things first, let's get MSI Afterburner up. And that is all at stock setting now. I'm just gonna start right away by changing the fan speed to 80% and then I'm gonna fire up our miner which we're using T-Rex miner and while that starts up I'm just gonna tell you about three things that you need to keep in mind while overclocking. The first one is overclocking is done completely at your own risk you know we're putting numbers into these cards that weren't supposed to be there so do it at your own risk. The second thing is, even if you happen to have the exact same version of a card that I do, that doesn't mean that my settings will just magically work for you. Overclocking is about trial and error, and because of individual differences between different cards, your numbers are gonna look different from mine. The third and last thing is, when I overclock, I just try to optimize for the highest stable hash rate possible as opposed to cost efficiency, you know, as in what's the highest mega hash per watt that I can get out of it. So that's what I don't do. I just try to get the highest hash rate that I can get while keeping the card stable. All right, so it seems that our card has settled at around 26.19 mega hash a second. But what I can also see here is that the card is getting a little bit hotter than the cards usually get from just being started up. So I'm actually going to increase the fan speed to, I would do 90% instead of 80. Oh yeah, we can hear the fan revving up now. I don't think it's gonna have a massive impact, but you know, let's, let's err on the side of caution. It actually did lower the temperature by about 2 degrees Celsius, so... Anyway, let's get to overclocking, right? So, the first thing that I always do is I just pull the memory clock all the way down just to see what happens. Alright, so I can see that we're immediately starting to lose some hash rate here. We're down to 23.93 and I don't even think it's settled yet, but I'm just gonna put it back to zero. Apply that and let it settle back again. So now I'm expecting it to settle back at around 26.16 mega hash a second, which is where it was before I pulled the memory clock down. And once that's settled back up to 26.16, I'm gonna do the same thing on the core clock. I'm gonna pull that right down as well. All right, so we're back up to 26.18 now mega hash actually. So I'm just gonna pull the core clock all the way down just to see what happens. Yeah, so we're starting to lose hash rates. We're down to 24.39. So I'm just gonna set that back to zero, apply it, and then let it settle back at 26.1816, whatever, mega hash a second, which is where it was before I pulled it down. All right, and we're back to 26.19 mega hash a second now. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start increasing the memory clock. Usually what I do is I do one big jump first, and then I do smaller incremental jumps and I see what happens along the way. So let's start by putting the memory clock at, I don't know, let's call it 400, just to see what happens. And what we're looking for now is, does this increase our hash power? Does it lower our hash power? Do we get a crash? Does nothing happen? And based on what happens, that dictates what our next step will be. But with the 1070, what I expect to happen from increasing the memory clock is not very much of anything at all. So I'm just gonna let it settle and we'll see what, what it says. Okay, so it seems not very much of anything at all has happened. We've gained maybe 0 0.02 mega hash a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it just a little bit more. So by another 200 to 600. So we're now at plus 600 on the memory clock. I'm gonna apply that. All right, so it seems that pushing our memory clock doesn't do very much of anything on this 1070. We're still at around 26.2 mega hash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the memory clock for now and maybe we'll come back to it later. 
but instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pushing the core clock up. So I'm gonna start by going plus 100 and we'll see where that takes us. All right, so that seems to have settled at around 27.43 mega hash a second now. So that's nice. I'm gonna do another, um, let's say 25 jump. So plus 125, apply that and let's see where that settles. All right, so we seem to have settled at around 27.81 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna push it another 25. So I'm pushing the core clock to 150, applying that and we'll see where that gets us. All right, so we seem to have settled at 28.19 mega hash a second now. So I'm gonna push it another 25. So we're going plus 175 on our core clock. Okay, so that seems to have settled at 28.47 mega hash a second now. So I'm gonna push it a little bit further. Let's go another 25. So we're gonna go to plus 200 on the core clock and we'll see what happens. All right, so that's settled at 28.85 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna push it another 25. So we're going to 25 on the core clock now. And we're applying that and let's see what happens. All right, so it seems to have settled at 29.22 mega hash a second now. So let's keep pushing it. Let's go another 25. So that's 250 on our core clock. Oh, we just had a crash, you guys. So what I do then is I dial it back by 50. So I'm gonna put it back to 200 on the core clock. And I'm just gonna say that I'm happy with that. So I've put the core clock back to plus 200. And now I'm just waiting for my miner to reboot or restart rather. All right, so we're back and we're mining steadily at 28.86 mega hash a second again. So what I figured we'd do now is we let's go back to our memory clock again. So let's let's start by pushing that to 800 and see if that gains us anything. So that's up from 600 to 800. And let's just see if that does anything at all. So no, that doesn't seem to have done very much of anything. So what I'm gonna do then instead is I'm gonna put it down to 400. So that doesn't seem to have cost us any mega hash at all. If anything, we've gained about 0.02 mega hash. So I'm gonna push it down even further. So let's do 200 on our memory clock and see what happens then. Yeah, so we're starting to lose mega hash now. We're down to 28.52. So I'm just going to put that back to 400, which is where it was. I'm gonna apply that and I'm gonna say we're happy with the memory clock there. I'm just gonna wait for it to settle back at around 28.85-ish. And then we'll tackle the power limit together. So while I wait for the card to settle back at 28.85 mega hash a second. I figure I can tell you I have a power meter plugged in and now that is for the whole rig, which, well, the whole rig is just a computer with one graphics card slot. That is, um, that's what I use as sort of like our test rig. And it is currently pulling 167 watts. And let's see what we can do to reduce that. But as I said, I don't overclock to try to optimize for efficiency. I just try to get the highest hash rate that I can get in a stable way. And then I just reduce the power limit a little bit if I can without losing uh, very much hash rate. All right, so we are back to 28.85 mega hash a second. So I'm going to reduce our power limit and I'm gonna start by going from 100% to 90% and let's see what happens. So immediately we're down to around 157 watts on the wall. So let's see if we're losing some hash rate or if we're good to keep pushing it. Okay, so it actually seems like we are losing some hash rate now because we're down to 28.45 mega hash a second. So I'm actually going to put the power limit back up to 95%. So at the wall, we're at around 163 watts now, 164, and our hash rate is climbing again. Okay, so it seems that it's actually settled still a little lower than what it was at 100% power limit. So now I could either just 
push it back to 100% power limit and get its full potential at 28.85-ish mega hash. Or do I go down a bit anyway? Hmm. Let's see what's, what the efficiency is like at 100%. Alright, so we're back at 28.84 mega hash a second. We're at 167 watts on the wall. And according to our miner, we're doing around 200 kilo hash per watt. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna power limit it down to like 75%. And I am just going to see how those numbers change. So immediately I can see on the wall we're down to 135 watts. 134 actually. And let's just see what happens to our hash rate and uh, our reported efficiency in the miner. All right, so we seem to have settled at around 26.8 mega hash now. So we've lost about two mega hashes per second. However, we're down to 133, 132 watts at the wall. And our reported efficiency is 240-ish kilo hash per watt. So, hmm, it's tricky. I think what I'll do is I might just split the difference here and go with an 85% power limit because I don't think I want to run this card at 100% power limit you know 24-7 but I also don't want to lose out on too much hash power just from limiting its power consumption so I've given it 85% power limit and let's see where that settles on the wall we're at around 150 watts now and as for our hash rate, it seems that we've settled at around 28 mega hash a second now. So I think I'm gonna call it there. I'm pretty happy with, with these numbers. Hey, so I was just editing this video and I realized I forgot to mention that, of course, after you've overclocked your um, card and you're happy with your settings, what you should always do is, you know, just let it run on those settings for you know, a day, uh, two days, a week, and just look for, you know, is it getting the odd rejected share here and there? Is it crashing? And then adjust your settings down as applicable to that. And also, do you have a version of this card? If so, please leave your overclocking settings down in the comments and we could sort of build up a little database of, you know, uh, overclock settings. So that's it. Now back to the rest of the video. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it one of these. As well as subscribe. I got a lot more mining videos coming up. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye bye, bye bye bye.